Santorini Volcanic System Long known for the catastrophic Minoan eruption around 1600 BCE, may be more dangerous than previously understood. A new study in Nature shows that the island's volcano is hydraulically linked with the nearby submarine Colombo Volcano, creating a coupled magma system that could trigger cascading volcanic crises across the eastern Mediterranean. The findings come from analysis of the 2024 to 2025 volcanic unrest when earthquake swarms and ground deformation forced Greek authorities to declare an emergency. Using land and seafloor seismometers, satellite radar, and ocean bottom pressure sensors, scientists tracked magma migration in real time. They discovered that a mid-crustal reservoir beneath Colombo deflated as magma intruded laterally into a 13-kilometer-long dike extending towards Santorini, while Santorini's shallow reservoir inflated. In total, about 0.31 cubic kilometers of magma moved, a volume similar to that which has fueled past Colombo volcanic chain eruptions. Though no eruption followed, the crisis revealed that Santorini and Colombo draw from interconnected reservoirs at depth. This connection means that unrest at one volcano can influence the other, a factor absent from previous hazard models. Santorini has erupted explosively multiple times, most infamously during the Minoan eruption that devastated Bronze Age Aegean civilizations. Colombo erupted in 1650 CE, generating its tsunami and lethal gas release that killed hundreds. The recognition that the two volcanoes can act in concert increases the regional hazard profile. Beginning on February 1 phase EU, days 6 to 10, earthquake hepocenters became shallower, migrating northeastward toward Anhydros at a speed of about 1 km slash, and intensifying at a depth of about 8 km with earthquakes exceeding MPV equals 5. Beginning on February 6, Phase IAA, days 11 to 15, activity again increased southwestward, concentrating about 7 km southwest of Anhydros in the upper 5 km of the crust. Between February 10 and 11 during Phase IV, deep seismicity starting at a depth of 12 km migrated 25 km sub-horizontally northeastward across the Anhydros block with a peak propagation speed of about 1.0 km. Slash. During Phase V days 18 to 25, seismicity returned to the previously active shallow cluster, with some seismic waves concentrated below 5 km. From February 20 during Phase VI, activity generally decreased. Surface displacement on Santorini currently exceeds 10 cm SANT station, and land subsidence has reached 18 to 32 cm at the bottom of the Colombo crater and 6 to 13 cm on its northern side. Researchers highlight several risk factors. Magma is actively recharging beneath Santorini. Tectonic faults in the Santorini Amorgos zone create conduits for magma ascent, and shallow water eruptions near Colombo could drive freedomagmatic explosions in Sumamis. Combined with dense local populations and heavy tourism, even a moderate eruption could have severe consequences. The study emphasizes the need for integrated monitoring of both volcanoes and contingency planning for coupled crises. While another Minoan-scale eruption is unlikely in the near term, the conditions for explosive activity remain present and interconnected beneath the agent.